Hey guys, so today we're going to be reviewing um, again, this is a second review, uh, for the Kensington Slim Blade mouse. This is a mouse with a built in trackball. So um, I received a message from one of my viewers say, uh, stating basically that the first review I did of this product um, wasn't, it was more of like how to buy and where to buy and basic functionality. So I've decided to do another review to get a little more in depth. Uh, when I did my first review, I'd only had this mouse for maybe a month or so, and I hadn't really used it that much um, as far as having my PC, but as soon as I purchased my MacBook, that's really uh, when this came into play. That's what it was intended for. So um, <clears throat> that being the case, now that I've used it pretty much on a regular daily basis for a good six months with my MacBook for Final Cut Express editing, I will cover some of the features that I really enjoy and all the basic functionality. So I'm jumping straight in. Of course you have your left, left click mouse button and as you can see it, it triggers from pretty much anywhere around this edge. It's very nice design on this. Okay. And uh, in the center, we have our trackball. I'll show you some on-screen activity with Final Cut Express here in a moment. In the center, uh, behind the trackball, we have a dual switch. Um, if you press and hold for five seconds, little red LED will flash and the unit will turn on. Now, um, once the unit is on, you can flip it over and set the Bluetooth sync on either your PC or your Mac push this button in and then you can recognize and pair the unit. Okay, typical passcode, I think it's 0000. On the bottom here, we also have um, <coughs> a protective slide shield. Uh, there's, you have your laser tracking in here and if you want to protect it if you're traveling or whatever, you can close it like that. Also, you could close it and have it flipped over um, to keep it from activating but if you touch the trackball it'll still wake up your computer basically so just more for protection there so okay back over to this side speaking of power if you're using the mouse and you walk away for I think it's 10 minutes the mouse will automatically turn itself off to conserve power and it has a battery um, uh, indicator back here um, and you'll notice when the power starts to get low, the you'll see various sequences of flashing lights back there kind of indicating how close you're getting. And back to the center button here, okay. <clears throat> so hold it for five more seconds and it will power off the unit, okay. And then hold it for five more seconds, it turns it back on. So if you're going to walk away and you do want to conserve the battery on this unit, then you can actually turn it off if you're going to be out for more than eight or nine or ten hours or something like that. Otherwise, you can just leave it in standby for ten minutes, and well, as long as it's not touched, um, you're not using really battery power there. So, um, so the second functionality of this is if you're using this as a mouse. You can use this as your scroll, so you can scroll up and down, left and right. I do use this a lot for Final Cut Express and uh, surfing the web and stuff like that. But if you're doing graphics, uh, audio, video editing, such as myself, sometimes you want to use the track as the mouse. So you simply double click the button and now the top of the surface, if you move the mouse around, it's not going to activate the mouse on the screen. You're using the trackball up top. Now this comes in handy if you have very precise uh, point, because sometimes when you're moving the mouse around with your hand like that, it's hard to kind of really get right on that certain point. So with the trackball, very simple, just slide right over to whatever point it is that you're trying to get to, and then it's hands off you can move the mouse and it's still not going to move that point so you can do whatever selection you know so lots of various different functions um, so like I said I got this to use primarily with my MacBook um, and I do a lot of editing with Final Cut Express so let me jump over here and uh, show you guys um, how I utilize the track functions and this mouse with Final Cut Express kind of an everyday application for me so Okay, so here's kind of a little side view. Um, sorry if this is at a weird angle, but I just wanted to show you as far as the overall functionality of the mouse, as far as using 
Now, as you can see, it's already affecting the video just by me. Uh, now, this is in mouse mode, just so you know, if you're wanting to use this. It's in regular mouse mode, so I can move the mouse around. And since I'm on my video uh, timeline, uh, if you jump down here and do a vertical scro uh, scroll down, it's going to advance your video. Let me jump over here. Um, it's going to advance through your video frame by frame as you slowly scroll down or backwards as you so slowly scroll up. Now, when you're in the timeline window, I can use the right and left scroll to go up and down my timeline. Very useful. I can pr get to a certain spot that I need or I can jump ahead in the video with just by using the track. Same thing down here, I can scroll through my actual videos that I have here. I can still scroll forward and back if I need to go to a very specific point in the video. Then um, I can get there, I can navigate there very quickly. Same thing with the audio down below. I can scroll through the audio tracks. And um, so, you know, it, it's been very useful for me. Um, I know there are other uh, regular mice out there that have the up and down scroll, but it's hard to find some sometimes that have the left and right scroll. And that's another very useful, obvious item right here. So, anyway, um, there's a quick. Uh, you know, just showing you how I use the Kensington Slim Blade and um, as far as using the trackball and some of the functionality and how it helps me out. So. Okay, so there you have it. I hope this was a little more in-depth review of the Kensington Slim Blade trackball mouse. Um, I have to say, I, even after six months of use now, I absolutely love this unit. Uh, one thing I didn't cover, I'll cover real quick, is battery life. If you use cheap 99 cent batteries, you're going to get about a month lifespan out of this maybe. Um, if you use rechargeables, you can get maybe a month or two. Um, if you use energizers, you're looking at maybe three months or so. It's rated for up to six months, but I use this thing a lot, okay? Like every day pretty much, you know, for hours at a time sometimes. So I don't get quite the, that length out of it, but uh, Energizer's usually pretty good, uh, whatever kind of high, high power battery, you know, um, for that. And as far as the rechargeables, I have, I do use the lithium ion rechargeables in here and it seems to work okay. Uh, Energizer's really, you know, I just can't go wrong with that on this kind of an item because I can buy a four pack and have it last me six months. So it's worth the investment for that. Um, okay, so there you have it from beautiful Waikiki Beach here in Honolulu, Hawaii. It's my second review of the functionality and the overall use of the Kensington Slim Blade mouse with trackball. Hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, please post a comment. If not, pogue my horn. Thanks for watching.